Okay, so this is a little discussion about how you can enhance the animation and the movement by using something called easing. And easing takes any tween that you have and controls whether it accelerates or decelerates. And as an example, if you had this word welcome and it was falling into place, if it was behaving the way normal physics would, uh, it would get faster and faster as it uh, gets closer to its destination. When it arrives there, it's traveling its fastest. So we want to ease in the speed that it starts slow and gets faster and faster by the time it gets to its end keyframe. So to ease in, very simple. Just choose the tween, that is the uh, this place in between the keyframes. Go looking under properties and find the word ease. And if you want to ease in, you'll go grab the little zero, just click and slide it to the left, and a negative number is an ease in. Now I've done it to the maximum 100 so you can see the effect. Hopefully you see the effect, but uh, it might be a little choppy when we're doing this uh, on the screen grab is a very very subtle effect but it makes the thing a little more believable yeah like I say it's it might not be really effective here but when you try it for yourself you should see the difference and the nice thing with these eases is, is if I click and drag across all the tweens I can have them all affected at the same time in the same way so I can apply eases very very quickly so everything should be snapping into place faster the opposite of an ease in is an ease out. If I click and drag it and take it to a positive 100, means it's going to decelerate. So as the the text arrives, it slows down near the end, kind of glides in smoothly. Give that a try and see how that works for yourself. There's one more little effect we can try playing around with if we're doing this. If we did want to create a little more impact and make it look like it was be obeying the laws of physics, we could put a little bounce in there. So as the word welcome gets into place, it's going to connect at this point but we'd like it to react, bounce off the um, the, the element underneath it, and, and settle down again. So that can be done pretty quickly too. A bounce uh, is just simply going to be, take that last keyframe, go about five frames over, and hit your F6 key to put in a second version of that keyframe. And in the middle, dead center between them, hit another F6, so you now have impact, settlement, and then it's going to have this little bounce portion there, and I'm just going to tap that element up by about 10 pixels or so. Now if you do it and scrub through it, it looks like it kind of pops up. If you throw a tween in between it, let's create another classic tween here and here. Now when the thing arrives, it should have a little bounce at the end of it to make it look like it's actually impacting on the object underneath it. And that's it. Give that a try and see how that works for you.